How to quickly profit from a big blog using the best growth hacks. Part 2. Growth hacks for quickly growing your audience. This all takes time though. Lots of time. And this training is all about making money and being successful at internet marketing in the shortest possible amount of time. So if you want to accelerate your progress and start growing your audience even faster, what do you need to do? One answer is to use growth hacks. These are simple techniques that you can use in order to grow and promote your website that don't involve gradually waiting for it to spread by word of mouth. One of the very most powerful and popular examples is to use something called influencer marketing. Simply, influencer marketing means that you're going to leverage the power of an existing influencer, someone who already has a lot of sway and a big audience in the same niche or a related niche. If you could find a YouTuber who has 500,000 views on every single video, then all you need to do is to message them and get them to mention your website or blog in their next video. If you can get them to do this, then you can potentially generate hundreds of thousands of visits to your website that very day. This can transform the success of your business overnight. Of course, the hard part of influencer marketing is finding the influencers and then convincing them that they should promote you. One way to get around this is to offer to pay them for their time. Another option is to find an influencer who is easygoing and doesn't mind giving you a shout out. Some are just having fun and happy to help. Or potentially, you could offer to do something for them instead. How about working on a project with them? If you have a skill set that you can offer, then you can somehow help to boost their success and at the same time, they'll be likely to give you a shout out. For example, if you know how to make apps, then get in touch and offer to build them their very own app. In all likelihood, they'll be excited and complimented. And as such, they'll promote the app which you can then split the revenue for 50-50. If you struggle to get an influencer to listen, then one great strategy is simply to hire them for something. If you can find an influencer who offers any kind of consultation or who sells a product, then order that from them and they will be obligated to respond to you. Yet another great option is to meet them in person. Once you've actually made contact in one of these ways, then you'll likely find that they're much more inclined to listen and to help you out. It's all about building genuine relationships and connections. Another good option for a growth hack is just to find that perfect route to market. And often if you can create the perfect blog post and promote it in the perfect location, then you'll find that you can get a huge influx of traffic from just a single link. The key is to make your post interesting and unique enough that anyone in a certain subreddit or forum will be sure to want to read it. If you can do this well, then you can generate thousands of clicks and several of those might be interested to subscribe to your feed or maybe even to order a product there and then. Your super fast guide to SEO. This would not be a training on internet marketing though if we didn't at least touch on SEO. SEO is search engine optimization which for all intents and purposes really means Google optimization. The idea behind this is that you're making changes to your website and creating links to your website and in this way, you're going to make your site more likely to show up in the search results when someone looks for something related on Google. Unfortunately, this is not a particularly quick tool when it comes to marketing your site. SEO takes a lot of time and there is never any guarantee that it is going to be effective. You can put a lot of effort in and still find that it doesn't work. But if you create a systemized approach for your SEO, then you can find ways to speed up the process. For example, by making a new post once a week or even by outsourcing the process. Essentially, Google works by looking for content that matches the search terms that people are looking for. When someone searches for a specific phrase, Google looks for the content in its index and then shows them the sites with the most relevant content. In order to add new sites to that index, Google uses spiders, programs that crawl the web by following links. Google also looks at each link as a testimonial, and the better the site that links to you, the more weight that testimony has. Your aim then is to fill your site with high quality content that Google will see as being relevant, and it is to get the most important and biggest sites to link to you. Once again, this often means working with influencers. Don't try to trick Google. Don't try to spam Google. Don't try to keyword stuff, repeating the search phrase in your content over and over again. And don't pay people to share your links. Google is smart enough to catch you and you will be penalized. Instead, 
Focus on making your site into the kind of high-quality site that the key influencers will be happy to associate with. Does your brand look as good as the top competition on the web? If not, then you need to work on that. But what you do need to understand is that from Google's perspective, getting one of the right links can completely change a game and is worth countless low-quality links. To get those right links, you need to understand who it is that Google trusts. The answer? Google trusts sites that are authorities. That means .gov domains and .edu. It means older sites that have been around for a long time and sites with recognized brands. If your site gets a link from a site like that, then you will get a much bigger boost in much less time. But what's more is that if you get a link from a site that has a link like that, then you'll still get a very big boost. Consider this a little like degrees of separation. Another tip is to look for sites that Google features in its news section. If Google puts a site there, then that's a very good sign that it trusts that brand. Focus your time on building these links and delivering quality and your SEO will be twice as effective in half the time.